Coming up. Yo, I'm on a film set preparing kind of catering. Don't eat too much eggs. Mm, I bite my lip. I love eating cookies. It's good. I peeled the potato. My sandwiches. I'm not a real houseman, but I'm crazy about organic foods. My food is an acquired taste. You don't like my food? Acquire some taste. I never felt guilty about having privileged foods. If being Robinson is wrong, why does it feel so right? Hi guys, it's me Robinson. Nice to see you again. Welcome to Groove, the real houseman of organic foods. Here I am today on a film set preparing some catering for my friends because we're shooting a short film. And yeah, I, I take part in this short film, but also I'm today for the catering. So today I decided to make some sandwiches, very delicious sandwiches, healthy sandwiches. Here, for example, I'm preparing a sandwich with salmon, cucumber, olives. And here I got a mix of tuna, capers, and mayonnaise. So I will put it on a sandwich and yeah. Uh, it looks very tasty. I also have with ham and cheese and everything. So very simple and tasty. So like finger food. Um, yeah, so I will show you how I prepare my sandwiches. I prepared uh, like a couple sandwiches here. Um, that, that's with salmon tuna, that's um, smoked ham and pickles. So that's ham, cooked ham and cheese and salad. And so I will put the top on it, the tops, the tops, the tops, and I will cut triangles, you know? I will show you, I will show you. I'm so proud of the sandwiches, they're so good. Look, okay, I got this here. So, I don't like the edges here. It's getting very, the edges getting dry very fast so I got this triangles here perfect so that's perfect delicious that's my finger food like this it's all for my colleagues they love it You have always to, to try if it's good. You can't cook without trying if it's tasty. Hmm? That's good. Hmm, perfect. Perfect, huh? Looks good, huh? Delicious, delicious. It's very fast, huh? Fast cooking. That's my plate. So good. So we do have some vegetarian colleagues, actors. They don't eat meat. So I got something with green asparagus. Mm. Mm. Oh, I hurt myself. Mm, I bite my lip. Oh, I have to go to the hospital now. Oh. Mm. Okay, but I'm strong. I can stand. Okay, let's see what's next. Bread. I got this organic bread. Mmm, it's like a dark bread. I will show you. Very delicious sandwich. Easy to make and very tasty. The one hand challenge. <laughs> it's not working actually. So I got this tools. So let's put some. Ah, I have an idea. Let's put a little bit of salad. Like one leaf. Then I do have asparagus here. 
is asparagus. Uh, we'll cut it in half. And then again, you know, the whole piece in the half so it can fall, it can roll, it can't roll down. So because I cut it in half, it can lay down on the bread. So it's not rolling. It's my creation, you know. Asparagus with tomato. Tomato. And a little bit of oil. And like balsamico vinegar. And salt. You put the salt at the very end. You know why? Because when you put the salt first and then the liquid, the salt will go fall down off everything. So you want to have the salt on top. Yeah. So that looks very tasty. Look. Huh? 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 That's good, huh? All for my colleagues here. Tomato mozzarella sandwich. No. Slice of bread and the tomato mozzarella on top. I got this little cocktail tomato. They're very good. They're sweet. They look cute. And I got this little mozzarella balls. So I got one piece of tomato. Mozzarella. For this kind of cooking, don't forget to wash your hands. Hmm? Looks very good. Again, first oil, a little bit, a little bit, it's only for the flavor. Vinegar, typically Italian, Italian balsamic vinegar. And then salt. I got salt. A little bit. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Looks good. Huh? You like it? You like it? Huh? Perfect. I got it here. Look. So delicious. 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 Huh? So here I'm on a film set. I'm doing the the catering today. We all help together and you know I taking part in the short film too but this time today I will help the guys with the catering so because they're starving all the day all day long so I do have coffee here. It's my coffee. Oh my coffee. Where's my cup? Here's my cup. That's for me, my coffee. I got a little cutie coffee coffee maker, a small one. <laughs> yeah. So, okay. And also, uh, I got some, I got some asparagus left. I will make uh, like a dip, like a cream cheese dip with yogurt and mix it so it's a little bit softer and then the, you can dip the asparagus so it's very very good good idea huh good idea so okay let's do the dipping stuff cream cheese with herbs and i do have like a greek yogurt Asparagus in a glass. Bop. Like it's like cold quark. It's like fresh farmer's cheese. I don't know. And with herbs, and I mix it with yogurt. So I got the asparagus here. 
and then you dip the asparagus mm, but no no double dipping okay and then mm, mm. delicious okay let's set the table it's my catering table with white bread like toast and sandwiches and like this organic brown bread with with tomato and fresh things and very tasty as vegetarian uh, with asparagus and tomato and yeah that's so tasty so you see you see my variation of sandwiches they're very delicious and some sweets and eggs eggs you need eggs on the set but no, don't eat too much eggs Actually, maybe that's not a good idea. Oh my gosh, what I I am, what am I thinking? What am I thinking? I need my coffee. Okay. Oh, you know what? I got a tomato here, and let's do some tomato and mozzarella, like a salad. But let's see. I do have some stuff. That's like a challenge. You have only a kind of limited things here and you have to prepare something out of it. So that's like also a challenge. That's, that's good. Actually, that's good. It's like always at home, you open the refrigerator and then there's nothing. Then we have to, to do magic and try to make the best out of it. Yeah. And I will do it here too. So... Yes, I will do tomato mozzarella. I do have mozzarella left. Tomato, salad, olives. Hmm. Let's see, let's see. So I just finished up my tasty tomato mozzarella salad. So perfect. So guys, I have something, something else. What else can I do? I do have some cucumber. Maybe we'll make a cucumber salad. Therefore, I peel the cucumber, yeah, and then I slide it in pieces and put it here. And the marinade will be only like lemon juice, a little bit, and salt. That's all what you need. If you would have some, I don't know how it's called, dill, like a green herb it would be perfect but uh, we don't have so that's why I think it's enough okay that's um, well you could put some oil let's put some oil a little bit that's enough that's good perfect oh let's let's see if we have dinner outside we have like a herb. That's that's dill. I will take a little bit of dill. Like this, 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 and this. Perfect. There, I got all the herbs here. So here I got my dill. I got my dill here. Perfect. I will I will wash it and cut it very thin and then put it on the salad on the cucumber salad look here on top that's perfect the dill and the dill we'll put it here and it gives a very special flavor look look huh i got some lemon olive oil salt Perfect. Done. Next. I got my two salads. So cucumber salad and tomato mozzarella. I think it's all. I think the guys they don't need more. Oh I got balsamic um, I got some uh, basilicum. Basilicum. I will put some basilicum. Perfect. Perfect. Basilicum, that's great. Basilicum, I found basilicum. Put it on a salad, on a tomato mozzarella salad, right away. Perfect. So, 
my coffee. Okay, I will check on my catering table and yeah, let you know if something is missing. I think I have everything in here. Plates, salad, So let's see what they're shooting. Yeah, they're shooting, stop shooting. It's camera. So guys, I decided to make something hot, so kind of, you know, um, not only cold dish, not, a, not only a cold dish, I wanna have some, you know, fried potatoes, I got potatoes left, and that's quick and easy, and so for my film crew, they can enjoy some salad with potato, fried potatoes, so, but instead of cooking the potatoes first, um, uh, I decided to make it direct in the pan, so I peeled the potato, and they are, it's like rare, it's not cooked. And I will slide it in very thin pieces and put it direct in, in a pan with oil. So they will cook in the pan while f frying, kinda. So don't, I don't cook it before, so it's like faster, yeah. But normally you cook the potato first and then you fry it in the pan. Okay, let's do it. Show you how to show you how to cut the potatoes very fast. So I got thin pieces and there's my pen. It's already hot, 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 hot. So you heat up first the pan and then you put the oil. In my case, I have unfortunately only olive oil. So the pan shouldn't be too hot because um, the amount of water in this oil is too high. So it would burn and smoke and you don't want to have smoke. I put a little bit more oil than usual because potatoes are rare, raw. And to, to try to test if the water is, the oil, to try. You're trying, if the, if the oil is hot enough, you don't put your finger or you don't spill water on it. So you take a piece of potato, oh, do you hear the noise? So it's ready to go. And I take the potatoes and put them there. Pan is hot. So, so I need an instrument to turn the potatoes. That's why I need the, I need, I take this one. So here we are. Nice, getting color, huh, look. So, and when they got all potatoes got nice color, I will put a lid on top. Check outside, maybe we'll find some herbs. Mm -hmm. Delicious herbs. Let's check the herbs. I will check the herbs. Oh, that's like a rosemary. I like this rosemary. I like this rosemary. That's good, rosemary. That's a rosemary. It's a little tree, rosemary tree. Is there more rosemary? Because I don't want to kill him. Take this, wash it. Yeah, that's all. That's what I got here. I think that's enough. Enough, 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 enough. Enough, enough, enough. 
yeah, that's that's a profession which has all your professionals check can do that. But you have to swing your hips a little bit. Do you remember, guys, the last time I had kind of smashed fried potatoes? I did the last time because the potatoes were so soft and they break and they broke. The kids loved it very much. Who wants my nuts? I got nuts here. No nuts, the royal nuts. So that's my nuts. And I will turn it down on two. I had it on six, I will put it on two. Because I want to have potatoes done, but not burned. If it's too hot, they're first burned, and they're not even done, so... Mm -hmm. Makes no sense, huh? You know what? The pan is hot. Yeah? Actually, when it's hot, you put some water and it gets like a steam and the steam is cooking the potato. And the leg. Yeah. So the steam cooking the potatoes. So it will be done very fast. Like you know that's like experimental cooking. Mm -hmm. And watch it. You don't want to have burnt. Mm -hmm. Look. Oh, oh, oh. So tasty. You won't believe it. Mm -hmm. You want to have taste, flavor. You need salt. You need salt. And pepper. pepper. The master of pizza has the pepper. So. What else? Um, oh yeah, rosemary. I got the rosemary here. You know what? You could cut it. But you know, if you have this whole piece, you put it inside and the flavor goes everywhere. Looks good, huh? We could put, we, we even could put some ham inside or whatever, cheese, but we keep it vegetarian, totally. Only potato, herbs, salt and oil. Bam! Yeah, okay. I did it again. Oop, I did it again, I did it again. Oh, I got this muscle here. Oh. Hi, I'm Clark Kent. I'm not Superman, but I am Superman. I'm Batman. I love eating cookies. Looks good. I need more shadow here. Let's go here, upper light. Yeah. Huh? I got so much time here. It's boring. I don't know what to do. Well, guys, thank you for watching again my show, The Real Houseman of Organic Foods. Hashtag Groove. And yeah, please, if you like it, subscribe, leave any comments. And if you want me to cook something, please let me know. I can cook everything you want. So, today I was on a film set for a short film um, where I'm taking part, but this time I was helping making the catering. So I did some very tasty sandwiches. So thank you for watching and if you have any nice recipes, please let me know. I will try it, okay? Okay guys, thank you for watching my show. This time from a film set, The Real Houseman of Organic Foods. Bye bye guys, I love you, bye. You know, it's like body language. It goes through the stomach, yeah, woo. <laughs> Watch what happens next. It's like a marriage, you know, between pasta and sauce. Funny face. <laughs> Goo, 
classico alla bolognese. I'm here cooking, I'm here changing diapers. You like my pasta, huh? Do you? Do yeah. you? Do you? You like my pasta? Bene. Tutti bene. Molto bene. Uh. Eh. Italiano, what kill you?